good morning and happy friday so if you probably can't already guess we had another difficult night with elliot um although this time we actually gave in at about 3am so at least he gave us an extra hour i honestly have no clue why his sleep pattern has just suddenly gone upside down usually he's always been very very good and when you put him to bed he'd like play around and talk to his toys for a little bit like his little stuffed toys and then he'd go to sleep he'd like curl up and go to sleep but at the moment uh, i don't know he's just just refusing <laughs> i'm so tired um i'm having a coffee but it's a decaf so i'm hoping i'll have like the placebo effect of having caffeine and then maybe it'll pick me up because i do feel like a slight zombie i don't know what today is going to be like i do need to make some clay uh tag orders so i thought i would show you my process of that so yeah so i'm thinking that i might get on and do those now ish maybe um and get them out the way and then they can start drying over the weekend and then i can ship them out on monday the only thing is the small um uh, hearts there's i can only fit on six letters and someone's put an order through with a name with seven so <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna have to try and figure that out um all my tags are a pound each anyway so if i have to put it on a bigger heart then i'm sure that's not going to be an issue because it's just going to be on a slightly bigger clay tag desperately need to do a general clean and tidy of this house <laughs> because i've been in a routine of like doing shop stuff filming and then editing it's just all built up but at some point i am going to declutter my kitchen again and go through that so a lot of you seem to enjoy my last declutter that i did i doubt i'll be getting rid of as much like uh, kitchenware because i think a lot of it is just like half open packets of stuff that i need to decant and sort out and i've got some glass jars that i want to use and like just do everything because one of my christmas presents that i already know that i'm getting from toby is a dymo um embossing label maker <laughs> it sounds so sad but i'm really excited for it so i might get all my stuff decanted into the little uh, glass jars that i've got and then once christmas day comes i can spend christmas day labeling jars I've had my coffee so now i'm going to do my clay orders i'm testing out some new silicon mats and then i can roll on it beforehand i was using baking paper but i'm trying out these ones so i bought like a pack of four they just look like this um the month for baking um so i'm thinking seeing as i was using baking paper before they should be fine to roll on with clay um the only thing is they have a slight bit of texture to them but that's fine i can just sand that out anyway so yes i'm gonna do some of my clay and then i'm gonna carry on with cleaning the rest of the house and sorting out so it's all nice for the weekend okay so i've been doing the clay uh, tags that I've been trying to do. Um, I don't think that silicon is actually that great for cutting stuff on um, so I think it's just going to be used as like a place for it to dry but I have just had a package arrive from Wild. I wanted to try out their uh, natural deodorant for quite a while and seeing as my deodorant is starting well i think it's pretty much almost gone now i thought i may as well order it so then i have it ready for when my um current deodorant completely runs out Ooh. Ooh. Ta -da. Oh. <laughs> so i ended up going for the orangey scent naturally because i am obsessed with orange so i think yeah i got two of the orange zest refill so this is like their little starter kit so i went for the i think this one is called the coral uh color but it's more of a rose gold i think it looks ever so pretty pinch the side buttons to pull the lower part of the case open insert refill without the cap and close oh my god oh 
There we go. I feel like I was meant to get three of the refills, but I've only got two. Yeah, there we go. So I should have got two of the orange zest and one of the bergamot rituals. That is right, isn't it? <laughs> so I'll have to contact them. I did wonder why there was a, a gap missing. Or is it slid in there? Oh no. Okay, so it slid underneath this bit of cardboard packaging. <laughs> right, so let's insert one. I don't know which one I'm gonna like more. So let's smell the zest. Oh, that one's really nice. I like that one. So I reckon I might use that one first. This one, the Bergamont Rituals, it smells a little bit like um, what a body butter that I used to have quite a while ago from the body shop. But definitely prefer the orange zest, I think. So I think I'm gonna pop that one in first. So pinch the side buttons to pull the lower part of the case open, done that. Insert the refill without the cap and close up the case. And then it just clips here. I feel like I'm doing a sponsored thing, I'm not. Put this back in. There we go. I really like the design of the case. I think it was a toss up between this and uh, Native, although this one is actually made and sent from the UK and I think Native is American. Comparing the two, I think this just looks so much nicer and you just buy the refills. Their deodorant, as far as I could tell, was in like a plastic packaging and they've only just um, released a cardboard version but the scents that I would have wanted, they didn't do in the set in the um, cardboard one. So I decided to go for this. It does take two weeks for your body and for this to start properly working. So I think starting this when it's a lot colder is gonna be much better. Um, I feel like the lighting here is so weird sometimes. I don't know if there's a referral uh, sort of links then you can get some money off your first purchase but if there is or anything like that I will leave it down below in the description it does come here with a um, like two coupons for a free reusable case which is this one um, so yeah maybe I will just leave those two codes down below and then it'll be a first come first serve sort of thing just in case anyone does want to try it here's how the clay tags are looking they look quite um crackled that's the only thing that i've noticed the clay that i took out the little blue bag um that was what i was using to make some of the clay uh tags that i had to order for the last time and that's been in there for a couple days now so maybe it wasn't completely sealed up so maybe some air's got in there so it's not as easy to work with because as soon as it starts drying it's it just cracks a lot more i reckon i will be doing those just as um like plain tags um and maybe do them as sets but cheaper um so they're usually one pound each so maybe i'll do um like a set of four for two pounds and they're 50p each i'm trying not to be a complete perfectionist with everything because it is handmade um it's not going to be like of a I don't know a big factory manufacturer sort of jobby because it is literally just me working at my dining table <laughs> doing clay tags um but I still want them to look nice yeah and I don't want to waste the clay considering I've already like used it so I'm gonna do my two heart orders that I need to do um but I'll just use baking paper this time just so that I know it's definitely gonna be <laughs> smooth and then like I said I will just use the mats as a drying thing and then I can just put them in the window above the radiator and hopefully they will be dry and ready to post out for Monday. It's been quite some time and it looks like I haven't actually moved but I have finished my clay orders. Um, they turned out okay in the end. Um, the lady who ordered these ones uh, got back to me and said that it's fine to do them on the big ones and then just change how she wanted uh mum done on hers I've done some more of these trees and some different patterns <clears throat> and my voice has gone weird um some extra hearts another little version of my little leaf thing my hands are covered in clay still um it doesn't come off all that well um i might start doing these stars with the initials on these were just 
the extras that I did with the clay that didn't really work out too well. I don't know why, um, but even this was all made with a brand new packet of clay and it had the same sort of crackled effect. So I don't know what is going on with those packets of clay. I'm not sure if it might be because I keep them in our under stairs cupboard and it's kind of cold. So I may have to look on the back and see if they have to be kept at a certain temperature um, without them going funny. Cause obviously now that it's getting a lot colder and that cupboard stays freezing under there because it's right on the external wall. But yeah, I've been to Asda, went to pick up <laughs> more things that I've ordered for Christmas. I feel like the whole of Vlogmas so far has just been me bringing stuff home, buying stuff and I don't know. <laughs> In December I always go a little bit mad. I don't really buy stuff for myself that often during the year. So December when I'm buying presents for other people I kind of include myself in that little category. So I got those bits and I bought myself a new jumper as well which I need to try on. Asda's uh, clothing is actually quite nice and they've got a sustainable range in there now which is all made from recycled polyester so I don't mind buying new if it's made from recycled materials but I do still try and buy second hand when I can. It's seven minutes past nine so I reckon I'm going to end this vlog here. I haven't started at all on editing yet and I think I've got a fair amount of footage. Um, I think it's mainly, mainly little like time lapsey bits so it shouldn't take too long. Um, but still, I'm quite liking being able to get it up for like the next day at seven o'clock each day. So yeah, so I kind of want to try and keep to that schedule. So I hope you enjoyed today's little vlog and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>